So now we're going to get to the actual results. Um, I'm going to let Bernie and Baltazar kind of give you a rundown on the results that we saw and what they mean. Thank you, Will. Hello, everyone. So the first graph we want to show you is finality versus network size. So as you can see, mostly finality is remaining near constant as the network size increases. So you can see we're increasing from 200 to 1,000 nodes. And let's take a look at like the lowest TPS 500. You can see it remains pretty stable under one second. Then once you increase the, the TPS input, so transactions per second are coming into the network, obviously finality will increase. But when you move for m to more nodes, you will actually see, for example, in 3K TPS, you see the network performing better with more nodes than with less. And this is just because of the way indoor sampling works, and we'll explain more about this later. Um, so I would just like to point out that the data points for the 600 node network are looking a bit higher than expected, and we will provide a, a potential explanation for that later as well. So next slide, please. Okay, so this is basically the same data points, but now shown in finality versus TPS. And as expected, finality just increases uh, linearly uh, with, with the TPS. So this, this is expected. The more transactions you need to process, the longer it takes to process, to like validate a block and to actually do the state updates. So uh, that's expected, but it's important to see that with, mm, for all of the different sizes of the networks, all the numbers kind of match up quite evenly. So that, that's very interesting. And just we need to mention here that the 200 and 400 nodes networks actually couldn't cope with 3000 TPS. So if you see at the end of the graph, they're doing about 3.5, 3.6 seconds finality. And as we explain it later, we have a maximum batch of transactions that can be included in a block. And this was set as 10,000. So if you divide 10,000 by 3.5, you can't get uh, 3,000 TPS. You will need the finality to be 3.3 seconds or under, which is achieved in the other network sizes. Next. And here we can see the bandwidth usage. So basically bandwidth usage is decreasing as the network size is increasing, and then it starts increasing. So this is basically an artifact of endorser sent. So endorsers are actually gossiping the full transactions to each other. And this is about uh, five, more, five times more data than any other node is gossiping because most of the transaction size is the quantum secure signature, about 80% of this size. And every node that is not an endorser is not going to check that signature, so they don't need it. So they just gossip the transaction data, which basically means, oh, I'm sending this much money from here to here, or this coin here to here. And um, this means that, for example, in 200 nodes, everyone is also an endorser. So you can see the bandwidth is quite high, uh, especially for higher TPS. So it, it goes very quickly above the beta net bandwidth restriction of 100 megabits per second. But then, sorry, go back please. So, as we increase the network size, the amount of time you're an endorser is decreasing. So when you go down to 400 nodes, you're only endorsed 50% of the time. And this means that, yeah, while we're increasing the network size, you can see the bandwidth actually decreasing. But then at the end, it starts increasing again. And this is just of the effect of the other side now, other side of the coin. The more nodes you add that are not endorsers, they're gossiping less data, but there are way more nodes than the endorsers. So that bandwidth will start creeping up. So we, we see that like this kind of reversed bell-shaped curve or something. Um, yeah, so 